opened fire on us. My warriors were responding to unexpected threats. I'm surprised you have the troops left to report the incident. Not sure I'd go in there if I were you. The rules of engagement had changed. I don't need to listen to this. Guardian, what fortuitous timing. Indeed. I'm fresh from performing Cabal funeral rites. Care to explain? Our condolences, Empress. Your people fought and died with honor. But they didn't have to. We can all prevent future losses if we choose to put the incident on Mars behind us and work together. What we discovered there is a threat to both humanity and the Cabal. You want my help. Want is a strong word. You need my help. I don't know how the Hive came into possession of the Light. My core will find out. But in the meantime... Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. Sun Tzu. I've read your texts. You want us to hit them. I need us to hit them. Hard. I meet you in blood, Guardian. There was violence between your people and mine. This will be forgiven. Once. Our alliance must be strong to stand against Savathun's hive. I see Commander Ikora has delivered the Synaptic Spear. Light suppressing Cabal technology. Refined and weaponized. Locate a hive lieutenant. One brimming with Savathun's influence. My scions will force it into their mindscape and connect your light to the light of the weakened hive. It will struggle against you. You will face embodiments of its belief in Savathun. Take up your spear and destroy them, and it will be left lightless. Without the light or a worm, the hive will die. Unless my scions keep it alive, we will bring it to your helm and sift through its broken mind to discover its secrets, all under the watchful eye of your Lord Saladin. I have led many warriors into battle, but this psychic warfare, I will enjoy the experience. Fight well, Guardian. Bring glory to both our clans, and break these hive against the bow of our union. Young Wolf, we have need of your fangs. The Vanguard is split. While Ikora deals with Savathun in the Throne World, we're facing more direct threats here on Earth. Lucent Hive have broken into the EDZ. Our guardians on the ground were caught unprepared. The reinforcements we sent were lost. We are facing a new enemy. Hive with the light. I will not allow it. So I'm sending you. I'm told you can use that spear to sever the Hive's connection to Savathun, essentially killing it. But before it can die, we capture it, bring it here, for psychic analysis. 
Archetal Scions are the key to this operation. If you see them on the battlefield, resist the urge to open fire. We need them to learn what happened to our Guardians, and how to stop it from ever happening again. The Hive are at our doorstep. They think their corrupted light gives them the strength to stand against us. Now go to the EDZ and show them how wrong they are. Multiple fire teams have disappeared. We don't know if it was a coordinated offensive or just bad luck. If Savathun was behind it, she must have plans for them. We need more intel. Empress Keitel Scions will help the Guardian secure a Hive Lieutenant and return them to the tower for psychic analysis. As if we haven't had enough Hive in the tower lately. Light. Strengthen your stomach. This is but a taste of the horrors the Lucent Hive will bring. Focus on securing their leader. If they're capable of this, there's no telling what else they'll do. Are the Hive modifying their portal rituals to run on light? That may be how Sabathun is deploying her forces. We won't know for sure until we get more intel. Use the Hive Relics to break through their ranks. Target is in range. Engage, but do not destroy. Once you weaken it, my scions will send you both into the mindscape. You're stepping into the mindscape now. You will be confronted by the Hive's core beliefs. Those include their devotion to Sabathun. Destroy that link. Those projections of Sabathun aren't real, but they do real damage. Lucky for us, so does the Synaptic Spear. Drive it through the Witch Queen's illusions. supposed to be immortal, but now seeing, knowing how fragile light bears truly are. It was hard for me to reconcile final deaths when I was freshly risen. All this potential cut so short. How did you find a sense of purpose when you finally saw through the illusion of immortality? The death of one guardian can be a rallying cry for an entire generation. And don't forget, a single guardian can accomplish great things in the short time they have.
Guardian, we're already getting results from the mind scans of the hive you brought back. These things are ravenous. They're hungry for our power. They're hunting guardians, draining their light, collecting it. We haven't discovered why. Savathu knows how to keep a secret, and so do her hive. I need you to hunt more of them, cut them off from their light, and make them wither in the face of ours. They hate us, Guardian. They want to usurp us, become us. I will never let that happen. For now, we have to trust that we share a common enemy with the Empress. Every instinct I have is telling me to strike. Centuries of conditioning. But instincts can lie. If I had told you just a handful of years ago that we'd have a guardian who was once Aldrin Sarv here in the tower, a catch ducked in the city, and the beginnings of an alliance with the Cabal, I'd have locked you up. You and I, Cora, both. On that note, Crow, he's undisciplined, no respect for the chain of command, and now, with Aldrin's memories, do you honestly think that behavior will improve? You're not wrong, but he step up time and again when lives are on the line, including mine. Oh, we can't afford mistakes now, won't survive them. I know. I also know you're willing to take chances on someone who's a risk. He's dangerously overconfident. So was I. You were different. Times were different. They were. But I changed thanks to you. And together, we changed the times. What was that saying of yours? Every blade needs a whetstone. Zavala. Crow needs guidance. And I can't think of a better guide. Give him the same chance you gave me, Saladin. Once upon a time. Guardians, stripped of their light. How do we come back from this? Sometimes you don't. When the Iron Lords were betrayed by Rasputin and slaughtered by Siva, we never recouped our losses. But the world moved on. Sometimes, in order for the new growth to blossom, the old must wither away and die. Is that what these Hive are? The new growth? Or are you talking about something else? Find the answer yourself. You fought well in the Mindscape, Guardian. Keitel's most trusted Scion is searching this Hive Lieutenant's mind as we speak. Each Hive holds a piece of the puzzle. The more we capture, the more intel we gain. If we discover their plans, we can bring their entire operation down upon them. They thought it would be easy. Take the light and watch us crumble. Now the Lucent Hive are coming face to face with Guardians, true warriors of the light. And they're afraid. We'll find what secrets they're hiding, and when they gather for their next ritual, you'll be there with the full strength of the light behind you. Good, you're here. Keitel's most trusted Scion was able to pull the truth from the mind of the last Hive you captured. They're preparing something on Earth, in the Cosmodrome. Keitel believes they're stockpiling the light taken from our Guardians. She's having trouble getting precise readings. There's a barrier in the way. The Hive are trying to hide what they're doing from us. 
I need you down there. Find the hive responsible, crush its spirit, tear it from the light, and drag it back here. Then we will lay its evil secrets bare. Do not hesitate. Show them your iron will. My scions have learned that the Lucent Hive are stockpiling light at this facility. They suspect that it's for a ritual of some kind, but their goal remains unclear. Whatever it is, we need to stop it. Indeed. Get down there and disrupt their operation by any means necessary. light of their own, the Hive still try to steal ours. They've been hungry for so long, they don't know how else to be. Those receptacles are filled with stolen light. They're using it as a power source. Avenge your comrades, Guardian. is fleeing. Chase him down and my scions will subdue him. It looks like the Hive were doing some kind of purification ritual. Purifying the light. This blasphemy has gone too far. We should leave no survivors. I agree. But first, let's get that into. This is in neutral space, right? Like a temporary pocket dimension. It contains the minds of the Guardian and the Hive we subdued, and the influence of the Witch Queen. Those projections of Savathun aren't real, but they do real damage. Lucky for us, so does the synaptic spear. Drive it through the witch queen. in our system is splintering. Our system, Empress? The House of Light flees to the Lost City. The Witch Queen has forsaken her sister. Guardians wield the darkness in battle. Even as old alliances are broken, new ones are formed, stronger than ever before. Savathun behind my eyes, and 
she reached into my mind. What do you think these high feel when we reach into theirs? I also find the Scion's methods unsettling, but they can uncover Sabathun's plans more efficiently than I ever could. Better to just put them out of their misery. Keitel believes these Hive might hold deeper secrets. Do not make the mistake of thinking these things deserve your sympathy. Even though they have the light? Maybe you were the wrong person to put on this assignment. They may be our enemies, but this feels like a new low for the Vanguard. For Zavala. Watch your mouth. You knew Light sees Zavala as some toothless diplomat, but you wouldn't believe what he sacrificed to become the man he is. Someone who will make the hard choice and make sure his people understand why. And I can't wait to hear the speech about all this. You want a speech? Today the Vanguard did what had to be done. Mercy prevailed. Speech over. Say it a little louder. I don't think this guy could hear you. This doesn't look like mercy to me. Then you're not looking hard enough. Long ago, even before there was a last city, I was deep on patrol in the old forest. When a local villager sought me out, they asked me to catch a thief. I told them the Iron Lords were no mercenaries, but I saw their pride as well as their poverty. When they offered me a loaf of black bread instead of coin, I agreed just before sunrise i caught my thief a young girl stealing what she could carry food when she could find it coin when she couldn't weapons to protect what she had taken there was no fear in her eyes she said the bandits in the forest ordered her to steal in exchange for protection the penalty for theft in those times was death Instead, I pulled the crest from around my neck and pressed it into her hands. I told her the wolves would protect her. In a settlement rich with stolen supplies, I found the bandits and cut them down. 38 lives to spare one. And for a time, I believed that was mercy. Many winters passed before I found myself back in that part of the old forest. This time, no one sought me out. So I sought them instead. Wind blew through rotted wood and rusted metal where the village once stood. And behind it, graves then piled stones, then bare mounds of earth, and then... a pit. My blood was high. I tore through the forest, hunting for those responsible. Finally, in a settlement rich with stolen supplies, I found her. A lightless woman with my crest around her neck. There was no fear in her eyes. She spoke plainly. When the villagers could no longer tithe, her wolves no longer protected them. She bled them dry, and when they had no more to give, she sent in her men, unleashed her wolves. cannot come at the cost of mercy for their victims. The right path isn't always easy to find. But once you do, the only question is whether you're strong enough to walk it.
Consider that the next time you feel pity for our enemies. Guardian, over the last year, friends and advisors within the last city have fallen victim to second manipulation. Those losses and the rediscovery of the Crown of Sorrow meant that we had to develop psychic countermeasures. So I authorized the deployment of this containment unit developed by Kaito Scions for psychic analysis of the Hive. The machine can hold the Hive in a painless limbo, neither alive nor dead. This allows Scion operatives to examine their minds, gleaning the information we need. After everything that happened to Osiris, it makes me uncomfortable to rifle through their brains like this. But Guardian lives are at stake. You will be our boots on the ground, and Lord Saladin will oversee the operation to ensure everything goes smoothly. We'll only have this asset for a limited time, so make it worthwhile. Good luck. Our protege has expressed doubts about this plan. Crow has endured quite a bit since joining our ranks. Eternity is a long time not to suffer any doubts. If he can't handle the stresses, then he shouldn't be on the battlefield. This isn't a war game, Zavala. It's a war. Do you believe I am unaccustomed to war, Saladin? No. That's the problem. We don't have time to second-guess our every move. Have you ever met someone as frustrating as Chrome? The Lucent Hive are killing Guardians in cold blood, and he wants to know if what we're doing hurts. I didn't want to encourage him, but when Zavala came in here, he asked me the same thing. I don't like to revisit the past, but Crow has got to learn perspective. I doubt he even heard what I said. As for me, I'll crack a hive open because I like the sound it makes. But I'd rather defeat them on the battlefield than in a lab. These demons have taken the light. They're killing guardians. I saw a hive knight wielding a void shield. It's sacrilege. Nothing is more important than stopping them. These are desperate times, Guardian. I know it, you know it, and Crow. Let's hope he's a fast learner. Did you assure him that they aren't suffering? It was a stupid question. Celadon. There's no answer I could have given that would satisfy him. It doesn't matter whether or not they suffer, if they're alive or dead or something in between. He sees himself in them, like he sees himself in Aldrin. How do you know this? I asked Keitel Scion. Crow radiates pain, he said. He's the one suffering, and in a way his ghost can't heal. I know what self-loathing feels like. And I know grief. This isn't anything like... You're stronger than he is. And who helped me find that strength? When I was at my lowest... <sighs> Crow is grieving. For himself, for the innocence he's lost. For the price of the truth. He's going to hurt himself, or worse, hurt someone else. You've always been more than a soldier, Saladin. You're a protector. So protect.
must be getting close to whatever the enemy is hiding. Their hostilities are escalating on all fronts. The single-minded cruelty of the new hive reminds me of the old warlords. It is as though I never left the deep forests. Before all this, I was one of the last in the tower to have ever killed a ghost. But it seems that old brutality never stopped following us. If the Hive have taken our light, let us take their ferocity. Let us force them into the Mindscape and smother their false light. Let us tear their schemes from their minds. Return to the Battle Guardian. Show them they've done nothing but teach us how to destroy them. Hive are just as unafraid of death as they were before. They know we can destroy their ghosts, and yet they just keep coming. Belief is a power. Belief in a cause, in a leader, in a people. Belief can make any sacrifice palatable. Is that why so many of your cabal are willing to sacrifice themselves for your ideals? Because they believe in you? Yes. Just as you were willing to sacrifice yourself for Commander Zavala. Share stories of their bravery. Forge their accomplishments into legend. Just how my people remember. The Iron Lords had a similar tradition. We called it naming their deeds. Then we shall name them. You have done well. The Hive are in disarray. I spoke to the Scion running the equipment while you were gone, the one Keitel trusts above the others. I used words while I allowed him to use telepathy. He hosted me in his mindscape. It was not what I had envisioned, a neutral place where we met as equals. He shared with me openly. He sees flashes of gray and red in the minds of the Hive. He interprets this as a vision. We will soon know where to attack. I was struck by the tone of his thoughts. His actions are heavy with a sense of duty. He does not enjoy working on an unwilling mind, no matter how wicked it may be. I mentioned Keitel, and he radiated warm feelings. Harsh, brutal feelings, but still warm. He and Keitel share an old friendship. Crow has been sulking more than usual lately. Perhaps I should encourage him to speak with the Scion as well. It may do him good. I will contact you when we have taken the new information from the Hive. Until then, Iron Will Guardian. I didn't expect you people to deploy a cannon quite that large. I don't think the Hive did either. A cannon is unexceptional, no matter the size. But a Guardian with the tusks to climb into one and fire themselves at a Hive command ship? When death is no longer an obstacle, it becomes a remarkable teacher. Lessons learned in your Crucible. And the Iron Banner. Lord Saladin is very proud. He may not appreciate the comparison, but he thinks like a Primus. Empress, I know this is a sensitive topic, 
But how long do you believe your forces can commit to a sustained war against our enemies? Until the last of us draws their final breath. We have a loose assessment of your numbers, estimates on your fleet in orbit. If this is to become a permanent alliance... Our war with the Hive is not a matter of strategy or force, Commander, but one of honor. Millions died on Torobottle. Countless more on other worlds of the Empire that collapsed to infighting or further invasion by Zivu Aroth. Outside our rituals, the death of even one Cabal demands reprisal. A life for a life. The Hive have accrued a great debt. And who will raise a monument to your people's honor when the last Cabal dies? Waging a war of vengeance? You. Load your guns, Guardian. The Scion has discovered the truth behind the Hive's plans. They're vying for control of the Scarlet Keep on the moon. The Lucent Hive want to take it from Zivu Arath's forces and claim it for themselves. They're using their stockpiled light, taken from dead guardians, and trying to manifest Savathun's throne world. If they're successful, they'll launch a full-scale invasion of Earth. This was their plan from the beginning. Take our home, corrupt our planet, overrun us, remove us from the universe. And when we are gone, forgotten, they will become the Guardians. Go to the Scarlet Keep. Summoning the Throne World will take an elaborate ritual. Stop it. Keitel has pledged her full support and is already approaching the moon with her forces. Let that be the last thing these hives see. Unity in the face of oblivion. Show them that even if they destroy us, they will never destroy who we are. I'm counting on you, young wolf. The Lucent Hive are attempting to retake the Witch Queen's position on your moon. Transporting an invasion force of this size must require a massive Hive ritual. Crow, do you have eyes on the ritual? Crow, do you read me? Damn it. Push forward without it. We can't split our focus while the Lucent Hive are staging an invasion. enters the field as your ally, Guardian. We will show you how Cabal deal with the Hive. Looks like the Hive saw us coming. Without Crow's recon, we're flying blind. My Scions report an energy surge up ahead. Must be the Hive Ritual we seek. Good. Let's crush the Ritual, bag their leader, and shut down this invasion. This must be the Ritual that Keitel Scions reported. Those receptacles are focusing their stolen light. Bring down their tribute bearers and disrupt the portal. Once we halt their reinforcements, We'll chop the head off this snake.
our target. He's still missing. My scions confirm. Target acquired. Engage, but do not destroy Gurdjian. Once my warriors send you into the Mindscape, you may be as brutal as you wish. This is the Mindscape, Guardian. It's a mental projection built by my Scions. Sever the Witch Queen's connection to this hive before it escapes. is halted. For now. A feat made possible by the Guardian and my psionic warriors, who have proven their worth yet again. When the Lucent Hive make their next move, the Vanguard and the Empire will stop it. Together. Let's not put the tongue before the tusk, small man. Trust is still being built. But for today, at least. I am happy to share a victory. Someone needs to track down Crow. I'll see you back at the tower. Crow, what happened? I didn't mean to. A full abort sequence initiated from this location. What have you done? I... I shut it down. I didn't know it would kill the Scion. Keitel sends an emissary to the tower, and you kill him. Can you even understand the repercussions this will have? I'll face them. What the Vanguard was doing here wasn't right. It's not your place to judge. You said the right path can be hard to find, but when you do, you have to be strong enough to walk it. I also said mercy to an enemy must not come at the cost of their victims. We already disrupted Savathun's ritual on the moon. I couldn't stand by while we did this to these Hive. The Hive are monsters. So was I. When Keitel learns of this, I hope the Vanguard can survive your conscience. You understand, don't you? Excellent work. Lord Saladin is deploying air support. Ground fighting will continue for some time. Now, the commander and I have a briefing we must attend. Carry on, Guardian. Thank you. I'm not quite myself. Every warrior needs their rest. Some just know when to take it. Crow. 
how do you justify the innocent blood on your hands? It was honorable. It was an accident. A cabal word for accident has two syllables. One is fault, the other responsibility. Honor the scion whose life was taken. A life for a life, that is our way. That is your way, not ours. You will not deny us justice. Do what you believe is right. I did. I will honor you. You demand a life for a life. Take mine. Cabal reward bravery in the face of death. I accept. Your life is forfeit. You will serve the rest of your days on my war council as Brockus Forge. Then it's done. Zavala, you can't not... Uh... I suppose you're here to say goodbye, eh, young wolf? Or to demand to know why? Because I chose to. I saw you fighting alongside Keitel's warriors on the moon. A strong alliance. The Vanguard needs it now more than ever before. But Zavala... I also saw the look in his eyes. He would have thrown it all away to protect one of his people. And for a time, he would have believed that was mercy. I'm starting to think people don't really listen to my stories. I was given a wish once, and I chose to fight a dragon, because we are what we survive. I will serve this alliance. My shoulders have borne more weight than this. My honor holds its luster through deeper stains. If this is the cost of tomorrow for the Vanguard, I will gladly pay it. Keitel stayed her hand when I placed myself at her mercy. Because she chose to. That I can respect. I told Keitel she'd have to kill me to keep me from the Iron Banner. She said that wouldn't be necessary. In fact, she has a few ideas of her own. This may prove interesting. I left something in the helm for Crow. If he's half as smart as he thinks he is, he'll understand what it means. Until our paths cross again, young wolf. It's over, Guardian. The Lucent Brood will never take the Scarlet Keep, and their invasion force is in shambles. I'm grateful Saladin stepped in when he did. He preserved the Cabal Alliance without bloodshed. I'm afraid I was about to do something... rash. All these centuries later, and Saladin is still saving me from myself. I decommissioned the Psychic Analysis Program, against Keitel's recommendations. I suggested she continue to collect the dead Hive lieutenants for incineration, but that seemed to put her mind at ease. She's been true to her word. Crow's life debt is paid. Our coalition is back on solid ground. I have my reservations. But Saladin believes this is the best path forward. The Scion is avenged in the eyes of the Cabal, a gift that I assure you is not lost on the Empress. Most importantly, humanity finally has a voice on her war council. We must respect Saladin's choice. It should have been me. I could have died for something I believed in. 
lack the self-awareness to know what you believe in. What? I... Your mind is a storm of guilt. Both your own and someone else's. We put a gun in your hand and told you who we wanted you to be. And now you're struggling to reconcile a lifetime of Aldrin Sov's experience with only a few years of your own. We all die a final death. Yours was not meant to be today. I was wrong about you, Saladin. I'm so sorry. I respect you for sticking to your convictions, but let this be another lesson. Doing what you believe is right, as you have, as I have, doesn't absolve you from the consequences of those actions. Someone must always pay the price. the perimeter sweep. We're all clear. I think we can pack it up. I expect your report to be personally delivered to my desk before sundown. You have a long way to go to make up for what you've done. Yes, sir. Commander. I understand. Lightning news. Brachus Forge has earned himself quite a reputation among the Cabal. Within his first three days aboard my ship, he was challenged to six rites of proving. He prevailed in them all. One of those challenges came from an officer on my war council. Brachus Forge defeated him with a single thunderous blow. As is our custom, he was promoted to Valis for his courage. He has also started a version of the Iron Banner aboard my flagship, at my request. There were many volunteers for his training. He calls his legionaries Iron War Beasts. We have much to learn from one another, and Valis Forge is an excellent ambassador. I dare say he even likes it here. And if a human can ascend to the rank of Valis in such a short time, imagine what the future holds. May we all live long enough to find out. <laughs> 